What's poppin' everybody? This is Ray Rollins from the Ray Rollins Network, and I'm joined by Mr. Alex Payne. Today, we're kicking off this week with another modern SpongeBob review, SpongeBob SquarePants, and today we are talking about the episode recently released, of course, SpongeBob's Bad Habit. Now... Mr. Alex Payne, I know you told me before that I would not like your description of this episode. Well, why don't you tell me your description of this episode? Tell everybody what your description of this episode is. Well, SpongeBob gets the habit of biting his nails, and the episode is about him trying to stop it. Now, let me ask you this. I Uh I specifically remember this. From I don't, I'm not sure if it was the last modern review we did or the one before that, but you said basically if the episode starts in the Krusty Krab, it's gonna be a bad episode. Do you <laughs> think that's true? <laughs> I I stand behind it. It's at the very least gonna not be. It's definitely at the very least gonna not be interesting. And I still stand behind that because this episode was not anything special. No, it's not. Um, that's. I guess you could say that's a spoiler for the, the, the review, but I'm not going to say it's a bad one. I, I I think the breaking one was worse than this, honestly. But this I will is a say... a lot of nothing. And I say that was the breaking one. But you know what? I will tell you this. Um, with this episode, SpongeBob basically develops a nail-biting habit out of nowhere, which they try to explain later on once he goes to seek professional help after he goes through all different types of means of trying to kick this habit that it's him internalizing Squidward's problems into his, which basically brings on the whole habit of him biting his nails. Like I said, this habit was not showcased in any other episodes, and they try to use Squidward as like a little bluff, like, yo, you're internalizing his problems, so that's how you got this habit, which I mean. I don't. I don't know how I feel about that. It's not like no, I don't know. Not nails, they don't. They do not. None of them have nails. It's just I don't know. I don't. I don't feel no type of way about it. I don't think it's. It's a a decent episode. I'm. I, I can't say decent, but it's not the best. I, let's go. Let's get into moments. I'm trying to defend it, but let's get into moments. What? Well, let me. I'll say. Well, let ahead. me give my first impression though, because my first impression of this episode was they added this, um, the, this new flute to the opening song music, like a thing. Like it, 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 it sounded very strange to me. I like, um. That music oh, that they oh, have, so like, the... the opening credits thing. I mean, the opening yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, show the episode card and everything. Yeah, they right, added, right, like, right. The flute in there, and it, it was kind of, like, it, I don't know. I can't say why it didn't work, but it didn't work. I don't know how I feel about it. I didn't really notice it, to be honest with you. I thought it was a new song. I didn't pay too much attention to it. I will say this, though. Um... I really need to mention this as one of my first impressions. That's nice. Just talk over me, why don't you? Um, I have to say this, though. I, I have to say this. With this episode being named SpongeBob's Bad Habit, I thought it would be something about him maybe being too caring or being too annoying, because that's what I thought it was originally. You see Squidward over there complaining, and you think, okay, Spongebob maybe he's going to get too annoying or whatever. Maybe that's going to be his bad habit. But out of nowhere, it's just biting his nails, which, like I said, is weird. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't, you know, then to find out, oh, yeah, it's, it's basically he's internalizing Squidward's, you know, behaviors and shit. It's just like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not with that one. But let's get on to moments. So, before I go, I want to see what you got to say about moments. What are some of your moments in this episode that stood out to you? I don't have any moments. Really. Um, I would say the only thing that kind of stood out to me was when there was that glove, ro- glove whirl and he started howling out of nowhere and kicking the ground with his foot. Um, <laughs> but other than that, the... Um, they attempted to do the my nails instead of my leg thing, but that's, yeah. that's really funny. Mr. Um, Fred, I'm I'm kind of upset thing, we like, didn't see Nurse Bazooka. 
<laughs> we're probably missing. We're probably never gonna see her again. So. I know. I know. So I want to yeah. know if they got married though, man. But, but that's the thing about this episode. It's like literally nothing important. Like the episode is pretty much air. Like well, you know, other than like, the opening, you know, I'll say this. Other than the opener when SpongeBob, like when they're annoying Squidward to say, okay, this is why he feels this way. After that, it's just like literally nothingness. And right. It's just like, yeah, it's like nothing of any actual importance to anything happens realistically. Right. In, in, like I said, you're not wrong. Um, but you also can't expect every episode to be straight greatness. I mean, no, no, it's obvious. This, this is Encourage the Cowardly thing. Dog here. They, they're they in like 13 seasons deep. Okay, this ain't Encourage <laughs> the Cowardly Dog here. So. <laughs> I mean, but they could have put, they could at least put more like something action. Like this was like, this was like they just took scenes and it's like, okay, we have all these extra scenes that don't have anything to do with anything. And we have this episode about him biting the snails. So let's just drop some of these in randomly in this, you know, episode. Makes sense, so, but I will give them the credit is, I will give them the credit they try to form a plot around it. So, <laughs> I'll at least give them that credit. I thought the whole part with him biting him nails when he's making the food and whatnot and his nails getting in the food was pretty comical too. You see nails just shooting all over the place, right throughout the motherfucking restaurant. So, I thought that was, that that was pretty interesting too. Yeah, of course it is, but you know, that's what starts him off trying to like, yo, I I got to break this habit, man. I want this interfering with my job. So, but I guess we can get into final reviews. I already know you're not too hot on it, but I, I guess I'll go right okay. now. Like I said, this episode, it's not the greatest, obviously. I'm not going to sit here and say it's the worst. I honestly think the break-in episode is worse than this one. Um... You think it's nothing, you think it's a lot of nothingness, but honestly, I think, you know, it starts off, the episode starts off with him realizing that he has a nail-biting habit, um, and then he tries to go through different means to beat it, which he's unsuccessful, so where he's got to go seek professional help at the therapist, and eventually, like, I, as I said numerous times throughout this uh, recording, it's because he is taking on Squidward's behaviors. He's thinking that he's Squidward, which makes him develop this habit. And the hypnotist kind of tries to break him out of it, which I don't know if you would call, deem it successful, um, but I, don't, I wouldn't say so. It's very unsuccessful because he starts biting the giant fingernails. So I guess the habit's still not beaten, I guess. I don't know. But I, I don't know how I feel about that ending right there. So besides the ending... I think the episode is decent. Not the greatest. I would I wouldn't even say it's not it's not terrible. I say it's okay. It's all right. So I'll give it a good 6 out of 10. Maybe 6. Point, nah, nah wow. 6. 6. I'll give it a nice solid 6. Just because I think it's better than the breaking episode. I I really think that breaking episode before was bad. I'm not a big fan of it, so. What about you? <laughs> Well, since you're giving it a solid six, I'm going to give it a soupy five. Because even though, like, I feel like it's very... <laughs> even I think the only crime of this episode is that it's just kind of boring. So, okay. it's not like... And I, guess, and I guess, like, the whole thing in there scene... And honestly, like, the eating scenes is very kind of... Very disgusting. And not well, so way, I uh, mean, that's that's kind of, in my opinion, that's kind of got to play in why he's got to beat his. <laughs> yeah, but one thing I'll say that kind of fits in with the story, kind of pushes it along. You know, it's not in there for nothing. And, I mean, they they could have. Yeah, um, no, I'm not saying it is, but it's just like, did you really have to show friggin' the guy drink and eating his fingernails, oh. and did they really have to do them extreme close-ups of it and everything? I was like, at the beginning, did they really have to show people's lips overly detailed and animated, smacking together, <laughs> sucking fingers in a very <laughs> weird, nasty way? Like, they just, like, went way over. They could have had <laughs> smacking mouth shots. Even that could have been a stretch, though, but, like, they had to freaking show you all of that and all of that. That's just, like, 
No, they want to gross the kids they, out watching this, man. They they want to gross they, the kids out watching this. They as soon as I, soon as I seen that, out here, as soon as I seen that, I already knew it was gonna be some crazy shit. I already knew it would be like, oh man, what the, what's this dude's habit gonna be, man? Because <laughs> these people, you they just show them immediately just getting it in, just smashing Krabby Patties, <laughs> yo. They were not playing, but. It did, at least in my opinion, like, it all fit into the main plot, though, of this mini episode. That's the thing. Um, but go ahead, go ahead. I mean, because, like, you know, SpongeBob uh, occasionally tries to time the gross out humor and shit, like the friggin' when he, like the um, Splinter and the Puss episode, when he was covered Ooh. in Puss, the Ick episode, I think it was. Oh, yeah, yeah I remember that one. And all that other shit, like. So, and again, this is when I feel like they had to slip that attempt in there. That this is one of the, at least at the beginning of the episode, maybe not the whole episode, but it's like, yeah. You can anyway, squeamish yeah. at a lot of shit. The, the splinters, the bus, I'm not even all squeamish. It's just kind of nasty. That's what it's, well, I mean, so what? It's a cart. Like, I don't know. I don't get grossed out about that shit. But you, you know what? We got to review one of them episodes. So, okay, so let me ask you this. Though. So you're saying it's not disgusting that all of the pus shoots out of Listen. SpongeBob's fingernail into Mr. Krabs' face? An empty, <laughs> empty <laughs> no, You don't think course. that's disgusting? Uh, no, it's definitely disgusting. But <laughs> all I'm saying is, like, man, <laughs> there's no need for you to be like... You're making that seem that like because it's, it's disgusting. Green, it's it's red, a bad pussy. You're making that you making that seem make it. You're making that the reason why it's a bad episode, in my opinion. That's the way I'm looking at it. Like you're just talking about the nastiness. Like, well, no shit, it's nasty. But that's the only thing that's that you gotta episode, beat like, There's nothing else in the episode. <laughs> like this whole episode is just I'm gonna chew my nails everywhere I can. But um. No, but like I said, it's not even that. It's just like I said, they really didn't have to show the nails in all that detail. They didn't have to show people eating the nails. Okay. Like, they did plenty of those. Like, perfect example. This episode when SpongeBob was sick, um, when he had the suds. They could, if, um, if that was this episode, then they would have showed people eating the Krabby Patties when he sneezed all over. And, but in that episode, you know, he sneezed in the back of the kitchen. Mr. Krabs is like, hey, we can't have you sneezing all over the food. And people just think that he sneezed on it and freak out. On this episode, you would have seen Snot hanging out in the Krabby Patty as he bit it, as the customers bit it and shit. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, I get your point on that. I definitely get your point on that. Um, like I said, it's just, I think the plot, they, they, the plot was weak, obviously. But they, they tried their best to make it. To make it flow. It was boring. Like you said, that was the only thing this episode was boring. The plot to me was okay. It was structured all right. You say the episode was extra nasty and whatnot, which, of course, yeah, I, I see what Not you're talking about. Episode. It was, it was, just no, no, but just the, just the beginning. It was really more detailed than what it should have been, which you are definitely correct. Yeah. But what, what's your rating? Uh, Soupy Five, you know. Right. It's soupy five. They drank a lot of milk that day. <laughs> soupy five, and I give it a nice solid six. A solid I, six. I think that's. I think. Yeah. I think that's decent. Not. We're not gonna agree on everything. Um, I do think you were a little extra too critical on this, but hey, you know, it is what it is. There's all gonna be more episodes. I, I hope the so, next, that's next perfect episode we do. The road. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. But I, you give it a soupy five. I get a nice solid six. And that's pretty much it. Tomorrow, the 31 days of Halloween cartoon marathon on the Ray Rollins Network will begin. And as always, we'll keep doing these SpongeBob reviews every Monday with the modern and every Friday with the classic. My name is Ray Rollins. He is Alex Payne. And we will see you tomorrow with the Halloween marathon begins. Peace.